Hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius Throws Perfectly Good Isaac Runs for No Goddamn Reason. Today it is Azazel, or Azazel, or Azerbadal, or whatever you call him. It's his name, it's Azazel, he's big, he's bad, he's cute, he's friendly, we're out. What are we doing? We're going to... It looks like Isaac, uh, no, Blue Baby again. We didn't make it yesterday, or the day before, this is pretty good. So today we shall endeavour to do so. Azazel, we've talked about. The range thing is a big issue. It does make it very difficult to kill certain enemies, but not all. Like, there's, a, there's a significant subset of enemies that this really causes us problems with beating. Uh, but it's not a huge number of them. And Little Horn is basically going to kill himself if I can... Yep, yeah, there we go. It's basically anything you don't want to get close to, so I'm thinking of the bloat, but I'm always thinking of the bloat because I never want to fight the bloat as any character if I can avoid it. Plus, the charge attack is... Uh, it's one of those... Yeah, I'm sure I had a bomb. Oh, I used it. I got a spirit heart for it. Good trade. Good trade. Do that again. Definitely. Uh, we don't have a key, but we can certainly come back. Okay. Uh, yeah, the bloat... Uh, the frail, even pin here, can be a bit of a pain by the way that it does that um, that cross attack of tears when it jumps. And the gurglings will of course charge us down, you have to get closer than then. A dime is really nice though. We can definitely go to the shop. So, expect some dumb damage. Expect a throw. We do have to do Hush as I say. In fact, Hush is exactly one of those characters, uh, one of those enemies, we do not want to be fighting as Azazel because we will simply take all the stupid damage in the world. I'm shooting all these fires on the off chance that they contain something valuable for us. Um, the pennies are helpful, I suppose. don't think they can drop keys, and keys is what we're hurting for because it means we can't currently get to that item room. We do have a bomb, so we might as well check this. It could give us some pennies from the... very funny... <laughs> from the jar. Uh, or whiskey, which I understand is in the jar but but uh, you probably don't want to be uh, drinking it. Ooh. That was a very lucky place to have been, because I would not call it a dodge at all. We have enough money to buy two shop items, and we will definitely get this. <sighs> what I'm going to do is take the key, which means we can't get the PhD, and a PhD can be very good. In fact, I would go so far as to say the PhD is what we want to get. GB Bugger is pretty shit, but Celtic Cross... <sighs> I don't know what was originally in there. I don't know which one we benefited from. But the PhD is a really good item. It means that I don't have to do the thing where I go, should I take the pill? And everyone goes, no, don't take the pill. Oh, we got a question mark on our head. I've never seen that before. I don't think I've had there's options so early. That's a bit of a shame that we got a key, to be fair. Um, that I've actually seen the visual effects of it. That's pretty nice. We're basically mini... Riddler right now. Excuse me. Stay, stay put, please. Stop jumping over my shop. I can't get to you whilst you're doing that. Um, that's explosion attack you get when you land. Which means I have to wait for you. Try and do as much damage with each shot as you can. Don't brim snap it. More HP. You probably should have taken it on the way out. No, we're okay. Uh, I'm going to take Guppy's head, but I really don't care about my shadow. And I'm mildly upset <laughs> that we don't have the five cents left, uh, necessary left to buy PhD. So we're going to do the rest of the floor. Hopefully we get a bomb for um, this tinted drop as well. I'm going to open this and hope. Yeah, what? Oh, what is this though? I mean, I know what it is. Might as well take it. This is a 404. I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with what's in here. No bombs. We can't really do it. We could open that, but of course we use the key. And I just did that to reset the music to annoy everybody. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed that little little troll I made. Uh -huh, I'm so clever. Let's go. Four minutes. Well on time for boss rush, I would have to say. Very much a shame we didn't get PhD, but I have to admit, I'm much preferring having bought uh, there's options. More options, I should say. Because every item room will now be a double item room. Which I think is better than every boss giving us two uh, boss items. 
which is what theirs options does. That was well played by me, and there's our nickel that we needed. Oh, uh, we should go in here. Hadn't realised that it was one of these rooms that we want to be doing. There's a key, that's helpful. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have bought that key. It would have been better to have explored the floor, found the key, which I didn't know we were going to get, but there was an opportunity to get it, is what I'm saying. See what I mean? If there's a chance you can get the key for free, we could have bought both things. We have enough money now to get to the shop, but I think I'm going to go to the item room still. Kill, kill. Because they'll have two things in it that we can pick one of for free. 404, by the way, has a different trinket effect on each room. But it's part of the room. So if you come back to the same room, you get the same effect. Ooh, that was close. These things do take money as well as HP if they hit you. They drop money, but not as much as they took. Flight early on is one of the best things, so I'm extremely... I'm pleased to be playing as Azor right now. This is a Wiggle Worm, as you can no doubt tell. That's excellent. I'm very happy to have received that fly help. Flight at this stage, it's basically a free pass against any difficult to achieve consumables. I'm going to take this because it's basically going to keep us alive. God's Flesh can be good. I think it's probably not good against, or, or rather, with the Zazel's um, tiny little brimstone. I think we're more likely to kill things with sufficient speed that that's really not going to be an issue. I'm expecting this to be a secret room. Plenty of keys now. We have been to the shop and the item room. Uh, I guess we could play it a bit. I'll go down to 15 cents. Do I want the left hand? Could we become guppy? Is that what we're going to do here? I think that's what we're going to do. So I'll take the left hand, which gives us exclusively red chests. Darkoni is not long for this world. Exclusively red chests is uh, more of a curse than a blessing. Uh, help. Because, no, no. I'm trying to keep away from it. This is another one where your range is a big problem because you need to get close to it, but it's going to do these things that you have to be away from him to dodge. That's very good. That's very good. This is outrageous. Oh my fucking god. Check out all this. Right, okay. Let's just leave. I'm not going to look for the secret room. Going nice and fast. As Azel runs, are quick runs if you do them right. I want to compete and I want to actually succeed all the way to the end. So we may not do Hush. Although we have got a great amount of defensiveness in this run uh, without really losing anything in terms of offensiveness because you know Azazel's very offensive um, if, if you see what I mean no offence to Azazel although plenty of offence from Azazel uh, just keep talking I'm sure it'll all blow over soon and we can get back to normal service there we go Here's another one. Explosions are a definite example of where you don't want to be for a Zazel. Guppy's head is already under our thumb. Let's have a let's have another set of flies. There we go. That was really daft, but we did get Celtic Cross Invincibility there, which is also quite nice, and we get a lot of uh, a lot of flies from this room, which is also really good. We got our HP back as well, although not too pleased about having taken the damage. Can't be. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> I don't even know what hit me there. Can't be too salty about having taken it. It's about time we took some, I guess. Oh, yeah, those things don't actually aim at you. I remember. Uh, question. Slowing shot may help for easy hush and other long lived enemies, but then. Do we go for Demon Baby and try and get some more DPS? I'm going to say no. I think I'm okay without. Demon Baby, because we're doing enough damage on our own. Anything that gets close to us is already in range of death. Zayas will face death. We now have uh, giant spiders and flies, by the way. So we're one third of the way to Guppy. Chests will be red chests, which have a good chance to pay out with Guppy items. We've also got deals with the devil coming up. Which also could pay out with further guppy items. We have plenty of HP and plenty of recuperation of HP, which is the important thing. There is a guppy item. Uh, no, got yet. That's just fucking spiders. Well, there's some black hearts, which is also nice. Whew. What do we talk about? Nice and quick. Don't really care to over-explore. As mentioned, I would like to actually finish this run. 
We are defensive enough that I would probably anticipate us doing hush, even though I was leery about doing so. There's another one of those situations where you really don't want to get close. Because Mega, Mega Fatty does a quick jump, you've got no chance. You just sort of have to keep going at pace, I suppose. Try and have an idea of when it's going to jump. I used to have so much trouble with Mega Fatty, so... Suddenly having come to the... Uh... Ooh, that hit me. Not a fan of that. Come to some sort of realisation about how to beat it. It's another one of those just keep moving bosses, which kind of goes against what I was saying a, a while ago about in Isaac, you've got to know when to stand still. You've also got to know when to not stand still. Kill it. And uh, we've got... You know, the adversary is a, a good one. You keep going until it does the brimstone attack, and then you get in. Uh, and um, Mega Fatty, if you haven't got the range, you've got to keep moving. If you can keep out of range of Mega Fatty, then more power to you. That quick jump does have a maximum range. It's slightly more than half the screen, so you do need to have a decent amount of range yourself. And there's a Zazel. Obviously, we don't. It's a huge floor for Catacombs 1. It's not Excel, is it? 2, no. Because we've done one. This is another dangerous situation. You have to strafe them, because otherwise you very much run the risk of their uh, exploding ones. Well, these ones don't actually do the exploding ones, but much like bonies, get out of the way. The other ones, what do? Oh, I see you see forever. We should probably go back and see what our secret rooms have in store. This is a decent secret room, actually. I'm a fan of this. Hate these fires, though. Another Azazel thing. Can't stay back and shoot them. Oops. Well, I guess we'll put this down here, then. That was a pretty good, uh, pretty good push. It's the same, so. Careful, don't, uh... I mean, we could use a bomb. But why not min-max? Oh, yeah, brilliant. A shitload of spirit hearts. There's going to be another secret room somewhere, so we'll go and have a look for it. Shouldn't take us too long to find out. Kind of expect here. No, not here. Okie dokie. At least it's not next to the cursed room. That would make me a little bit sad. Maybe in the corner of this. Yeah. So we could have got into our item room for free. But we have plenty of keys, so it's not a, a huge deal. No, we don't want to change our trinket. Thank you very much. Guppy Chance is still on. We're still living the Guppy dream. We have got Hive Mind, which is going to make Guppy outrageously powerful. And if we can get Guppy before Hush, then Hush is basically, uh, you know, it's a no-brainer. It's done. It's a done deal. We do have to actually succeed at that. And it's seeded, so it's not like I've got a different or better or worse chance from anybody else. It's, it's either going to happen or it's not. What is happening? <laughs> How did I survive this? That's pretty good. I like the... Uh, Shot speed up. I don't think it. I mean, the, the tears upgrade. I'm not sure the shot sp speed upgrade helps, but the, the mark for some damage upgrade and it gives us our HP back, although in forms of spirit hearts. But. Oh, there's a coin there. Look at all the spirit hearts that are happening just to me. For me? You shouldn't have. You know, I feel special. I feel honoured by all this. Do you know what? I would really like a guppy item. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Why is that a problem? That room's points. That's a points room. What do points mean? Uh, spot on the leaderboard. Oh, we can do it. Ah, cool. That's our second guppy item. So that's two of three. We have some deals with the devil yet to come, and I will be very surprised if there are no more chests on the rest of the run to become uh, red chests for us. But again, I would very much like it if the guppy thing would happen before the hush thing happens. Not a fan of this, though. That one being slow at that point meant I really didn't have to worry about its radial attack, which suits me fine. We'll leave that behind. It doesn't do anything for us. It would turn red hearts into spirit hearts. We've already done that by selling them all to the devil, so... For, uh, for, to, for great, uh, great benefit to ourselves as well. Just, just remember how to... Look. Stop speaking. Get your words back in order. Try and remember how to speak the language you've been speaking for the past... years. Wow. <laughs> I mean, if we get hit, we're fine, right? But only on these room-to-room -room type floors, if you see what I mean. If we have a fight, for example, the Hush, by which I mean the Hush, we're going to find ourselves in a bit of a problematic situation because these spirit hearts are not going to be dropping like this because they're dropping as the rewards for rooms. 
Our flies are doing a kick ass amount of damage though. Uh, kick ass. Do apologize. Bad trip is fine. Couldn't give a shit. In fact, I'm not even going to go back for those spirit hearts. I have strong faith that another one will arrive. Fairly short order. One fly is enough to take that thing all the way down to zero. As And that one. And these ones. We're barely using as many flies as we're making. Uh, let's see if we can get something decent out of it. Strength. Okay. That could help us cheese the deal with the devil, actually. So I am kind of down with it. We're definitely getting way more spirit hearts than red hearts. Uh, so if we can spend a red heart on a deal with the devil by using strength, getting a red heart, spending on the devil. That would knock a spirit heart off the top. Absolutely it would. You are not wrong. But, like, I don't care. <laughs> have we got our item room yet? We have not. We don't want to go in there because that's the mom fight. You can't get out. So, unless we find a way out, in which case maybe I'll do it. Uh, I'm just going to look for the item room first, which does have two items in it. So it's definitely worth checking out. It has Serpent's Kiss is definitely what we're taking here. Ten bombs could be very valuable in sort of a utilitarian sense, but it's nowhere near as valuable as possibly gaining... Um, black hearts from kills. I mean, Serpent's Kiss could really, really help us in the Hush fight if we're hurting a little bit when it starts spawning all those enemies. Serpent's Kiss could give us a strong chance of causing them to drop some black hearts for us. I'm going to take Pandora's box because it's interesting. Um, Guppy's head is great, but we don't need to use it. We're this far away from Guppy. Oh, it's not fucking... It's not Necropolis 2, it's Necropolis 1. Oh, that's my mistake. Um, I thought we were on the mom fight, but we ain't. You're probably wondering, what do you mean you can't get out? Yeah, I'm going to take the... Um, Pandora's box down to the street fair. I'm going to take it down the old country road. I'm going to take it down by the riverside. I don't want that. I'm going to take it to the womb. Because it will give us two boss items from the womb. We could take it to the cathedral where it will give us... Oh my god, we did it. What a gamble to have made. Um, on... Cathedral, it would give us an angel room item, but they can be reasonably shit. So, uh, this is a done deal. You don't need to watch anymore. We've won. Please keep watching. I, I crave your attention. I live for the comments. Um, it was a good gamble to have gotten rid of Guppy's head at the time that I got rid of Guppy's head, I think. The reason for that is that we just became Guppy. And Guppy's head causes us to have three flies per room, but Guppy itself causes us to have as many flies as we want all the goddamn time. Pretty and there's a pretty fly, which is also quite nice. Uh, I was hoping for... I don't really know. I mainly went in there to see what was up. So Guppy's going to be producing all these flies as we do damage to enemies, and then using them all to do further damage to enemies, which is fine with me. I haven't actually recognised a single trinket effect. Except the really obvious, um, the worm effects that give us wibbly wobbly brimstone and that sort of thing. So, well, I guess it's probably because we don't fucking have it anymore. Uh, yeah, stop talking shit and pay some attention. Holy light, I don't know if it does anything for us, so I'm going to take it. At worst, it does nothing. But then, so does the bean. Oh, hi, Super Greed. Thanks for showing up and ruining my day. Although, the Kano... It's just some spiders and flies, which are giant. Just talk amongst yourselves, I guess. Kind of pleased to have taken um, taken the gamble with the guppy item there. Oh, I think died. Okay. It seems to have worked out for us quite well. Here's a pin room. Boom. We're doing a lot better against pin. I'm not sure whether Holy Light will be doing anything for us, but... A little bit more range upgrade, and I'm going to feel much happier about the hush fight. We really need to get things killed before they can have the opportunity to you know, try and do us any damage in the first place. This could be the super secret room. It's not. Sometimes it is. Uh, it's not. Okay, then. Let's uh, just leg it through here like this. Whoa. Haha. -ha. Touch it. Now we kill mom in one shot. Yep. Greatly assisted, of course. 
by our flies. Uh, we'll take Sackman. Excuse me. That's very rude. Addicted, not what I'm after. Question marks is, are you a wizard? Does it do anything? It does not. Our face is weird right now. See how it opens up? <laughs> the, um, the effect from Serpent's Kiss. Oh, this is bullshit, isn't it? What the fuck is this? Might as well take the one that is passive. The effect from Serpent's Kiss, which is the uh, green fangs thing. Is not... <laughs> it's not giving way to the effect from our actual brimstone laser. Whoa! You nearly got me! You joker. Should have used the strength card probably to take um to take our sacrificial dagger, but honestly, probably don't give a shit. Thanks for the uh, spirit arts. This is a combination of the mitre, which we got on the first floor, and Celtic Cross, which we got uh, sorry, the relic which we got later. I'm not sure if Celtic Cross produces spirit hearts or if it just makes them more likely to drop. Both of those two items that I did mention actively produce spirit hearts as we go along, so it does appear that they recharge for boss rush as well. And there's a black heart, which is really nice. And he just ran straight into our sacrificial dagger, which did so much damage it was basically instantly dead. Ah. I was expecting a, an underground enemy, so I was waiting for it. Let's stand in the middle and see what we get. I'll uh, probably deal with this one first. Yeah, it took a bit of damage. Can't be too salty about it. Um. Pretty difficult to get anything done against Brownie at this range. It's another one of those enemies as Azen is just sort of contra. It looks like we've got Celtic Cross Invincibility here, so we can really get in there with this sack dag play. Do as much damage as we can before it wears off. That went perfectly to plan. Not sure about this one. Oh, one shot at it. Normally that will split into uh, sections, as you well know. You've probably seen before. Gonna have to pay some attention to uh, the stain over here as well. Sorry, the... Yeah, the stain. It died from flies. That makes me happy. I'm perfectly content for all of our flies to go dashing themselves against the enemies. Because we can easily make a lot... Oh, okay. We can actually land on the rocks. Yeah, yeah. We can easily make way more flies at the... Literally the push of a button. Almost literally the blink of an eye. Don't blink. Plenty of spirit hearts. We've only lost half a heart at a time anyway. So, so far... Oh, oh that was a bit daft. This is a... Uh, that was Polaroid Invincibility. You can tell simply by how long it lasted, which was no time at all. I feel like we're making more flies than... <laughs> okay, than we're uh, using up. That was bad. That was a single... Uh, that was a full heart, though. Which is a bit OP. Just saying. Yeah, come at me, bro. Fucking bring it on. Don't you recognise Celtic Cross Invincibility when you see it? Dumbass enemies. Your AI ain't that I. But it's very A. Your A-hole. Wow, that was very dumb. He died from flies. Well, it's over already, and I have no interest in Monster Manuel. Where the heck is the out? Here it is. Splendid. Let us go. Let's see what items we get from Pandora's box. We've been holding on to it for this long, and hopefully... We'll get the opportunity to replace it. That's really good. Oh, a range upgrade. Actually, normally go in a range upgrade. Who cares? I got the range upgrade and the guppy that I wanted before doing the hush. I do feel like this is an... Oh, what's happening? Another one of those ones where someone's gone. Those previous runs were a bit douchey, weren't they? Let's make a really easy one. That was a stupid place to stand. A really easy one with this fucking room. No run is easy with this room involved. We're not having the opportunity to actually uh, use our tears. We actually don't need to do this room. I mean, we don't need to play the self-sacrifice play. Because we're going all the way anyway. We cannot get... Um, Mega Satan. Mega Satan is the word. High Priestess is the one you don't press Q on if you don't want to die. I'm probably saving for the Hush fight, actually. It's a bit extra damage. Unless something better comes along. Ah, we can drop this, actually. I'm going to drop the left hand here. Else I will forget it. In fact, you two... I know what I said. No. I was trying to uh, use the High Priestess, but I hadn't finished picking it up when I pressed the Use the High Priestess button, so... This is fine, too. A range upgrade is super useful for the ah, In any capacity. Including the one where it comes from a boss and it's actually Mom's underwear, and you're going, oh, for fuck's sake, not Mom's underwear. But in fact... It's High Priestess. 
No, it's a range upgrade. It's really good as uh, a Sazel. Whoa, watch out. <laughs> Try to snipe it on the way past. But my, my flies are doing all the work. I don't really need to be here. My job is to produce flies. Oh, we've got X-ray specs, of course, so... I guess we just... Another range upgrade. Despite not buying PHP... D. I can see What's the matter with you, brain? Forever. Um, we are actually doing fairly well on pills. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, there's the other secret room, so that's pretty much exactly where I wanted you to bring me, but... Troll bomb in there, not my favourite. So we can definitely do a full exploration of these rooms, because with X-ray specs, we just get shown the secret room provided we go past it, which we're going to do as long as we do a full exploration in the first place. Ooh, 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 yeah, try it. Bring it on. Our flies are killing the things that I hate the most, like those ones that are right next to us when we spawn into a room, we join into a room. There you go. Do we have a curse? We do have a curse of the maze, but I'm not too bothered by that. I think I'd rather use it to dispel a curse that I'm actively um, an unfan of. Like, Curse of the Unknown on the Hush fight, or something like that. I'm glad we haven't got Cursed Eye, actually. That would make it extremely difficult to fight the Hush. High Priestess and Addicted. Ah, oh, cute. There you guys. That seems fair. I was keeping the High Priestess, but I think being able to dispel a curse and give ourselves a Spirit Heart in one shot. Oh, speaking of one shot. Nah. It's extremely valuable. <laughs> Basically. I do say that a lot, don't I? It's my go-to phrase for when something's pretty good. I kind of want to play that Joker. Oh, fuck it. We can get some plays out of him. We're going to get so many spirit hearts out of the uh, rest of the floor that not playing this thing. When we get invincibility for every hit that we take. It's almost criminal not to try, right? What's this? Health up! Uh, well, if we can fill it, we do lose permanent Polaroid invincibility if we get a full heart in it. So I'm going to try not to do that for now. Did we get a curse? We did not get a curse. There's another spirit heart and a Yera room. So I'm going to Yera this. Probably should have kept it. I'm really hoping not to have to need the... Um, oh, that was dumb. I didn't mean to use it then. I meant to use it when I use a couple of spirit hearts. Um, normally you'd use the Yara rune on the chest, and I'm kind of hoping we get another one before then, to be honest. But, um, I'm really going for the the idea that having Dagars for the next few floors is going to be extremely valuable, because we don't have the Black Candle or anything, so there's a strong chance that a curse could really ruin our hush fight, and that's not something I want to be uh, at home for. Ah, okay. What did we win? More HP. So we don't need any of the HP that's currently on the ground. But we have to hope that we can sell two to the devil. Or just stop getting hit. This will allow us to do the uh, blood bank if we really want to, but I don't actually think I want to. At this stage of the game, what value does it do us? Missed that one. Come on then. Ah, thought I could kite it round, but it didn't work. It's fine then. It's not really doing us any problems. Plenty of time to get to Hush, so we can explore all the rooms. Uh, find our secret room. Naturally, just like that. Put this down here, see what we get. There's a half heart, that could be valuable. I mean, we can still keep our permanent Polaroid invincibility by selling the one heart that we did get. Oh, but that's so min max I don't really care. If we go back that way, we'll do it. I'll tell you what, though. These flies just tearing up the room as soon as we walk in. Where's my bit, you know? When do I get to play? It's actually really valuable. Alright, so we don't want to finish this floor just yet. Although we should probably fight the boss to make sure that we just can walk into the boss, uh, into the hush fight whenever we feel like it, so we can scarper is what I'm saying. Oh, well, that was easy. We did get a deal with the devil as well. So we can sell one of our rich... Ooh, we can sell them both. Thank you, and good night. So we've got Incubus, which is kind of like a <laughs> little brimstone, except it doesn't have the full range. It's also quite far back. 
which means it's very much a supporting character. Oh, hello. This is interesting. Could be another Yarrow Rune here, isn't there? Algies, though. Her throw. Not too valuable. Yes, there is a Yarrow. There's a Picano, which is the only one I actually care to use right now. And another, another Yarrow. I'm going to keep... I've decided I will keep the Yarrow. The game has spoke... And it has told me that I was wrong in my original uh, ideas about what rune I should be taking. It said, look, I gave you two Degar's runes and you fucked up. Which I agree. I did. Then, what is this all about? Oh, we were invisible. Quick. That room did not punish us as much as it should have. And the game has said, look. I've given you all this HP, you'll be generating so much, and all the flies, that you have no excuse. You have uh, a single pretty fly, and sack dag. You have two familiars and that little relic thing floating around. Basically, what do you need the Dagar's room for? And it didn't bite us in the arse anyway, because of course, now we are in this floor. And we don't need the Dagar's room. Who's a bullshit? I guess Little Chubby is an infinite range damage dealer. I'll take this. The map. I mean, we're going to explore the whole floor anyway, so I guess what difference does a map make? Not too much. And we guess we'll take Little Chubby just to do some damage to the hush when we're not sort of there. We might as well take this as well, because it gives us more spirit hearts over time. Now we just need to sort of manage this, I guess. Oh, well missed. What the heck, though? Oh, good start. Get in there. All the flies, uh... Oh, what the hell? How many times do I have to complain about this game teleporting things into where I'm going? Fucking does my head in. Very much a uh, shame that Incubus... It's expected, but a shame that Incubus doesn't, um... Whoa have full range, like Lil Brimstone would have, but, I mean, it's, it's Incubus. <laughs> I can't complain, it's fine. In fact, the range on Incubus, that was really stupid. That was a larger hitbox than I anticipated, though. Um, does mean that we can sort of get it to hit the hush when even we can't, because we can do the, the Lilith thing of using it as a sort of turret, I suppose. Angry turrets. Come on then, in your own time. I've got a week. The flies, though, are probably going to be doing most of our damage to Hush. Apart from the fact that mathematically that's guaranteed, what I mean is we're going to be relying on them. Oh, watch out. Just stay here. Oh, are we alive? Yes. Can we do some damage? No. What is happening? We're okay. Is this safe? I hate this bit. This is what killed us yesterday. May I remind you. Just uh, kill that fly, get some more flies of our own. Yeah, we're definitely going to be relying on the flies rather than just acknowledging the fact that we have a lot of them. Uh, that was the point of that particular piece of commentary earlier. I don't think BBF has actually exploded yet. Ooh, watch out for that. I'm not sure whether we're getting any... Black hearts from Serpent's Kiss because A, our flies are wasting everything before we get the opportunity to shoot it, and B, nothing's dying from or even necessarily taking poison damage. What do we do here? No, this is the bit that killed us yesterday. That's okay. Invincibility and kill it. Phew, that was a lot better than yesterday, despite the fact we're playing as Azazel, which, you know, kills you instantly for shits. Uh, I don't really want the map. Where's this spirit heart? There it is. Let's go. I don't. I don't like fighting as Azel as the Hush, um, because I know what I said. Because of the range thing, it's very difficult to get anywhere nearby. Obviously, if we had infinite range, I was kind of hoping to get uh, rubber cement. The rubber cement lets us do that trick that we've seen before. 
where you bounce it off the wall in this direction and it goes full range in that direction unless they've patched it. Wouldn't surprise me. That's a secret room. But it was not to be, but we still survived our hush fight. In fact, I've got the t-shirt. I survived the hush fight. Guess that was flies. Don't really want that. Gonna use all our keys, don't care. You can't stop me. We should definitely make sure we have eight. Watch out. Because that's the magic number. Didn't you hear the song by the Blind Melon? The Blind Melon? That's the uh, canonical name of the band. It's the internationalized name of the band. Eight is the magic number. There are eight in the family. It's a big family. It's a very traditional family. No contraceptives, and everyone needed to help on the farm anyway. Now that we've got BBF bouncing around, I'm a little bit more scared because it was great when we were fighting the hush, not that it actually hit anything for some reason, whereas we were fighting the hush. But now it has a much higher opportunity to hit us. So let's take a little bit of speed. It's not a huge speed up, it's barely noticeable, but it does help. Every little helps. Oh, yeah, Dark Bum, you're trying to shine. Wait, where's Dark Bum? <gasps> yeah, I don't care. I'm doing it, I'm going for it. This feels like a bossy direction. We're fast enough to back away from uh, from shots. So I think that's pretty much the threshold of speed that you want to aim for. We'll finish the floor, why not? Apart from the fact you're like, for fuck's sake, just fight the boss. Ah, uh, yeah, I know, swap back. At this stage, we cannot lose. Except for if I say we cannot lose, and then we do. Oh, yarrow room, please, thank you. Um... So really, it's just a, a points gathering. I'm not going to do that one room. You still have to beat Isaac without completely fucking it up. Which again is an issue as Azazel because... Well, the Isaac tactic is to keep the hell away. Or to one-shot the son of a bitch into his third phrase. Phrase? Phase. Uh, at which point it kind of doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. I, I may have overstated quite how difficult that was going to be. In fairness, I did expect it to be as difficult as the blue baby fight at the start of the hush. Uh, at the, the hush fight? Ooh, $3 bill. Pretty good. Kind of don't want to take the guillotine. Oh, though. No. Oh, though. No. Oh, yes. Ludo Brimstone is still Ludo Brimstone, even if you're a safe one. Iron Bar, yes. The body, no. Path of fly, sure. We're Beelzebub now. We can fly. Isn't that wonderful? What do you think of that disc marina? Isn't it terrific? Stand over here and shoot over there. This is what we needed to beat the hush without taking any damage. It was not to be, but that's okay. We still beat the hush. We took a lot more damage than I'm happy with, but over the course of the run, nowhere near as much damage as I'm upset with. So it all balances out. I expected to take a lot of damage on the hush fight. We've got a Zazel range, blah, 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 blah. You're dead now? You're dead now? You're dead now. We should do this whole floor as well. We do have x-ray specs so we can find our secret rooms, which is going to be... Well, I imagine some people didn't take x-ray specs. Oh yeah, the reason our donut keeps changing colour and transparency is we have a $3 bill. This is going to be occasionally causing poison damage. Don't know if anyone remembers or even was watching. I wasn't doing videos at the time, but in uh, original Rebirth, before Afterbirth came out, this donut had about half as many edges, so it was really obviously rendered as not quite a circle. And now that it's basically a perfect circle, it's so extraordinarily pleasing to look at. Just It's just a torus of utter destruction. Well, our friends are safe. Yes, you keep your friends close. Don't want that. Feels like the boss is in that direction. This room, though. I don't understand it. Why are they that colour? Are they special? They're probably special in a way I have yet to discover. Because if I ever reach this room, I'm already strong enough to beat the shit out of it. By the way, this is what happens if you have Spoonbender, Ludo, Brimstone. <laughs> Isn't it delightful? Let's go and do that big room. Fuck it. Uh, I guess Polyphemus? Triple shot now. As evidenced by our... Inky buddy down there. Doesn't really seem to affect Brimstone, except for the fact that it maybe got a bit darker, so there's three of them overlaid. Maybe it just did triple damage. I don't know. 
I can't really speak for this run. There has been no opportunity to re-roll it. This has just turned out to be ludicrously good fun all on its own. And if there is an opportunity to re-roll it, I might do. Because, you know what? Fuck it. D4, please. No? Game, I'm giving you the opportunity to ruin it for me. To, to make this unplayably bad and to cause me to lose a run that I, my own hubris, declared unlosable. You now have this opportunity to rub egg in my face. Oh yeah, what a room to have the most awesome effect on. You know, you can make me eat my words by providing me with a D4 now. Okay. Alright, you stay here and I'm just going to dance around like this. Are you dead yet? How about now? Look at those flies though! That's it! We're done! Take the trophy and get out! 356th. I imagine therefore a lot of people did a lot better on Hush. Maybe they were a bit faster. Maybe they got more swag bonus. But that's a pretty good score. Now do keep in mind there's only about 10 to 15,000 people still playing the dailies. So 300th, 350th is not as small a percentage as it was when there was 3,000, 30,000 people playing. This is like top 1% of 30,000 but only top sort of 5%. Well, by that mass, 2%. You know what I'm saying. It's, it's not as good, but it's still a really good score. And I'm really happy with that position. So thank you for watching. Uh, everybody appreciates and as there's a run, I am sure. I'm the only person who played it, which is a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.